Right, this was found on the ledges, and what showed this, this big fish here, this is a two meter long fish, what we've done is actually put the elements back roughly where they came from. So I measured this before I even collected it. The, 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 actually the whole fish, it, most of it rotted away, so the internal, the body section was just just a series of bones that have gone all over the bedding plane. And unfortunately they spread way out and they're all sort of single elements. And the sea had actually sort of destroyed a lot of this. But bearing in mind I've collected this and I've prepped it from upside down, which is the best way to do it, because you get the exceptional preservation that way. What we've got is just the stump of the tail, because actually the flute would be huge, but this is rotted off a little bit of the pectoral fin and some of the little hemivertebra that tell us there's a fish called of the Kachirid family. So it's a predatory fish. And when we look at the skull, um, it doesn't look like it's had a good day because it, it's down the midline, you can see the midline, you see its eye there and you see the other, at the top of it, the eye socket there. So it's sort of crushed down. And what it yields is, a, I would say, a fish with very, very big teeth. What's really interesting about it Again, it's unknown to science, but along the dentary, the lower jaw, if you look along the midline there, there's a line, a parallel line of, of raised pits. And when you look at these pits, they've got holes down through the middle. Now, that's something unique and new in, the, in these predatory fishes that we've not seen before, especially being raised sort of bosses. Now, there is a sort of theory whether in those, from those holes, little barbules come, because naturally, if you've ever seen things like barbel and things, they've got these sort of uh, sedentary aids because they're feeding on the seafloor. Or they could be rather like shark. If you cut that in real life behind there through the section, you would find a sort of sack of jelly where sharks have got that aid where they pick up on electrical discharges and sort of fish they're after. So whatever they are, they're probably at an age of this predatory fish where they're going down in the dark, gloomy depths and using that facility or that aid to actually, you know, rather than their eyes to find their sort of prey as well as their eyes. And so that's a really interesting sort of new species of fish yet to be described.